Should. There we go. Here we go. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's see if I can change the... Alright, buddy, you have fun on VR. Thanks for stopping in. Let's see. Uh, I should be able to close that and... There we go. There. Alright. We've updated the stream information a little bit. Alright, so, uh, I know a decent amount about Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, I used to be a big fan when I was younger. Not so much these days, but, uh, I still know a decent amount. I mean, like, I know all the characters on screen here. Uh, with Blaze, uh, you know? <sighs> Espio, Vector, Rouge, Shadow, Knuckles... Sonic, Tails, Amy. There we go. Strange no Charmy. They have Vector and Espio here, but no no Charmy to be. That's interesting. But I guess they can't include everybody. They decided to put Blaze in instead, which is fine. Alright, so... Yeah. This should be interesting. I've heard this is quite amusing. Dot, dot, dot. I think this is us. Phew! Made it on the train! Fifteen minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag. It isn't ready. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Oh! Tabby. That's my name! My name's Tabby. Tabby, did I spell that right? Yeah. I hope passengers can read my scribble. Hey! hey. We, we have okay handwriting. Tabby, this us. Oh, this is cute. Dining car. Uh oh. Am I nervous? Is this the first day on of the on the job jitters? I've had that before. Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Tabby, shake it off. <gasps> we just slapped ourselves. Uh. -uh. Tabby, did I just, uh, see you hitting yourself? M -m -m mr Conductor, sir, uh, how are you this morning? Ho <laughs> ho quite alright myself. Though I feel a, a little, feeling a little bittersweet. Look, <laughs> is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as Conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Aww. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She already got our plane tickets to Spagonia and locked. Spagonia. <laughs> our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's... Your first day working in the dining cart. Here's the menu for today. Menu is added to your inventory. Hey. I can open the, inv the inventory any time to view items I received. I should look at the menu. Yay. Yeah. Oh. The Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> instant ramen. Chili dog. Sonic's gonna love that. That's his favorite. Chili dog ramen chicken cordon. It's instant ramen. It's not even like the good kind. That's unfortunate. It's weird how they go from like decent, cheap, and then like actually pretty nice food. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Oh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Oh, cordon bleu. Ding, ding, ding. I'm glad you read the menu, okay? <laughs> about the vessel. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. 
After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. Yeah, that's a long time. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll make you proud, sir. I can't afford to lose this job. I'm not saying that. <laughs> no. If there's anything I've learned about uh, the workforce, it's you don't ever be honest about your feelings. <laughs> You'll get fired for that. <laughs> I'm glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Oh, it's pretty. Oh. Oh. Amy, not Cole's, probably Sonic there. Oh, she's got a little cake on her head. That's so cute. Oh, Tails! I love Tails. He's so cute. Look at this little boy. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on the train like this. What did you all expect? You know, I always go out for my birthday, all out for my birthday party. <laughs> this train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Rouge. No no stealing on the train. I have to keep an eye on her. Oh, no. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? Thank you, Knuckles. Thank you. Where's a pen, Knucklehead? Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pen? Then why would you take it? Do you not have your own pen? Are you so broke that you need to steal a pen, ma'am? I'm gonna cast a, what cast of, what cast of characters am I stuck with? The cast of Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm afraid, my boy. Get a hold of yourself, Tabby. You're sweating through your uniform. Oh, 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 shoot. I'm so sorry. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Uh, arg? Of course, sir. Righto, friend. Righto, friend. Arg? We're not going to say arg. Hello! Uh, it's going. We just started. Apparently, there's going to be a murder mystery. Righto, friend. Well, are you friendly? Yes, sir. Why can't I be normal for one second? <laughs> Look, we have to be friendly to customers. We can't be ourselves in front of the customers. No honesty allowed on the job. <laughs> Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Tabby, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their tickets. Oh, okay. Got it. Oh, gosh. Look at the edgy boy in the vector. <laughs> vector seems to be having a good time. Let's talk to Tails. I like Tails. He's cute. Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkle jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, you're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Oh, tails. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. <laughs> well, Tails is mostly normal. Hmm, we talk to Tails. Yeah, I, I've been uh, purposefully avoiding uh, any any stuff about this game because I was going to play it here, so I didn't want to get spoiled for anything. Uh, let's talk to Nichols. Knuckles next. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? It's all crumpled. It, I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Grumpy. Edgy. Grumpy. Edgy. <laughs> he looks cute in his little purple outfit, Espio. Look at him. 
Alright, uh, let's talk to Sonic next. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Yeah! Huh? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared for the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes, he is. <laughs> I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Um, let's talk to Espio. I like his cute little purple outfit. Oh, it's got a rose on it. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. He is a ninja. He's a pretty chill ninja. You consider me calm? <laughs> you heard from me? No, Espio, you can't be doing that. You consider me calming? <gasps> He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Well, wow, ninjutsu. That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling to walls? Cling to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. Whoa! The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Amy, that if we're working this way, actually, I should probably talk to Vector next. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding I Vector, you do have your ticket, don't you? Is something amiss, sir? It seems I, um, have misplaced my ticket. Vector. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't worry, we'll take a look around and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. Yeah. Rouge might have nicked it. <laughs> Alright, Amy next. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And the murder mystery change sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. That's concerning, but understandable and not entirely out of character for her. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss... Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, it's a key. Oh, have fun. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. I will use this wisely. Thank you. Does that mean we just gave her... Wait, are there rooms on this train? Or is this just like a one-day thing? Because, like... Did we just give her the door to Sonic, the key to Sonic's room? Because that could be... I Unfortunate for him. Uh-huh. Um, I guess if we're going in order, Shadow's next, because he's between Amy and Blaze. Alright, edgy boy, give me your ticket. Here. <laughs> oh, he... <laughs> Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, we do not. Uh, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back that I could get for you. That's not what he wanted. That stare. Brr, so cold. Tabby, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you a jacket? <laughs> no, I'm good. The edgy boy's just slightly scary. Blaze! May I have your ticket, please? Oh, thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? <laughs> just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I was wondering about that. Didn't take uh, silver with you, huh? 
I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Should, should I bow? Do I bow before princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why, I, can I not win with this group? We did well with tails. Tails like this. Rouge, please don't steal anything from me. I'm begging you. Well, hello, you two. Oh, well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Uh, polite. I... Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you nick that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to ask you kindly for that back. Mmm. 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 Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best judge of character. <laughs> True. I think that's everybody. That should be everybody's tickets. Right? Then what do we do now? Oh. Oh, snacks? Snack time? We serve snacks? We got everybody's tickets. Oh, we're still looking for his ticket, actually. We didn't get everybody's tickets. So, oh. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. That's neat that we can turn that on. Oh, we can go this way. Oh, there's his ticket! Found it! What's this sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Be sure to return it to its rightful owner. Yeah, let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost ticket added to inventory. Alright, now we talk to Vector. Hey, buddy. Find anything yet? Well, we might have what you just what you need. Tabby, why don't you show our friend what we, what we picked up? Eh. This one. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thank you both so much. I was really worried you kicked me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, 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 old Tabby here would have had their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. That, we do not, we're like, what, a, like some sort of small mammal. We do not want to fight with, uh, yeah, Vector is a crocodile. We don't want to do that. <laughs> Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? Good question. You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course. Just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. It's time to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's a compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely. You can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Tabby if they need any help, won't you? Oh, that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. Goodbye, conductor. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state of the art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everything else, please talk to Tabby if there's anything you need. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Bye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust that you all read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of the motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they'll be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules! Sonic, you are the ship captain and you'll be stationed at the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. And Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. In, you know, indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. I love the hat. I believe that actually is a hat he used to wear. I don't remember if it was in one of the shows or one of the comics. But he used to wear this hat. 
So that is actually his hat, I believe. Got it. Rouge, you are a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're the titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There's none. Ugh. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet. Both of you found in the library. You hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. That's why he was wearing the apron. <laughs> and last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Oh, yeah, yes, ma'am. I did, yes. Ah, uh, I was listening. In. I hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, floor plan. I have a map for each of you. Cool. Neat. Okay. Good stuff. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. Map added to inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone must co Ooh, excuse me. Everyone must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. It is. It seems that this seems very much interesting. The murderer the murderer will lie to get out of being accused. So inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle. And then the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. Bye, Amy. <laughs> This is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses! How thrilling! I have goosebumps! I love a good mystery! I love a good mystery! Same! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you be to be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party! Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the, the mystery anyways. Do you think... What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. What do you think... Uh, do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. Aww, I love the birds. They're so cute. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, that kind of sounds fun. I wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. That's weird. The train started moving. It's so fast. Grab onto something. What's going on? Ah, I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't... Ah, ah! No! Did we crash? What's going on? I didn't think the train was that... Oh, I guess it's our first day. Oh, everything's a mess! Where are we? You're both awake! Y yeah It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. It seems we've been locked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. This is actually a tenet. It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Tabby, could you get to the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. Amy, give me that fallen shelf. Give that fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Uh, huh? Let's find another way out. Start looking. 
looking for clues. She doesn't have it. Search over here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Did she pull us in here? Or did she see something? Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy and uncover the full situation. <gasps> Maybe she broke it and broke this place. Gather reference and interrogate. Got it. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure... Yep. This is our job. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Amy. <laughs> she looks so nervous. She's so obviously suspicious, girl. What's this? What's this, a rod? The, the tip is broken. It looks to have the originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick added to your inventory. There's so many things. She slipped, didn't she? Ah, the wet floor sign keeping people alert and safe. Once I slipped on some spilled juice in a grocery store. No wet floor sign at all. It does seem like a fan game, but apparently it's official. <laughs> Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Well, Sonic is really as fast as they say. And he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's as though it's the thought that counts, I suppose. Huh. What do you think, Tails? You want me to cook any of these for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. I, my cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. Hello! I mean... Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become an optimist as optimistic as this kid? Good question. Mm, I don't see... Other than this, I don't see anything else we can look at. Well, Amy. Who's <laughs> picking up a spoon like a weirdo. Hi! Hope you enjoy your break. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey, Tabby, look closely at this. Oh, yeah. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train was has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Yes, yeah, sir. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Amy. <laughs> dig ourselves out on a train. Uh, keep looking. Talk. Oh, okay. She's just saying the same thing. thing. Our interrogation. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? She attempted to escape. And she failed. Maybe? You were sitting, sitting idly by while Tabby and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. 
show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Cabby, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form an argument to fight back. All right, let's do it. Proofs attempting to escape the diamond car closet. Some sort of stick. Handle? Both of these could be used for that. This one? Hmm, not quite sure if this will convince Amy. Let's give it another try. Okay, so it would be this. Yep. What is some sh damage on a shelf supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. You have, n you have no argument here. You're grasping. Oof, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? I have to explain it. So now I have to explain myself. Well, you see, uh... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, bashing badkins. He never loses. Like an endless running game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? Find your argument. Alright, let's prove you're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Think! What? Oh, 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 we were actually playing a game. Okay. 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 Interesting. We've collected 29 rings. There we go. That wasn't too hard, was it? Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me on a train, this well kept, that the damage was here before we arrived? <gasps> well, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? This thing. What is that? A stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? I think she broke her hammer on it. Oops, I fell. Mm, if you look at it closely, you'll see. I think you've been twirling around that stick a bit too much. Cabby, let's try to follow that train of thought again, shall we? Y yes, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not always the best at these type of games. Whee. There we go. We did it. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to a shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something that it could, like, let's say, a hammer... <gasps> this isn't a stick at all, is it? It's actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer! You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. I was right! And the handle to your hammer snapped right off. We were right. As you both said, I tried to get out, get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack with the handle ripped, and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let's see both the pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, stand back. 
If I know anything about this girl, she is a force to be reckoned with with that hammer. Whack! The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it! We're free! Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here! Yay! Freedom! Oh my gosh, the whole place is a mess. Wait, is that a... <gasps> it can't be! Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! Looks like it's a game has begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind, I'm exhausted already. What a really... That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Uh, body, no, can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic? Oh no, oh no. I feel myself panic. Calm down, Tabby. What do I do? I'm about to pass out. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. I just run proudly around. <laughs> Leave your care. My favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down. Oh dear. I need to catch up to Amy and Tail and get, get to the bottom of this. Even if it's this part of the game. I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Yeah! Oh my goodness. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Aww. The big old whodunit. Oh, the machine's broken. Who smashed the game, I wonder? There are several suspects. With bad tempers. Wow, look at this place. Tails? Tabby, I'm over here! I think Amy's already gone ahead. Seems she's really excited. Did you need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he He's laughing. Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. We have nothing to worry about, promise. Plus, Sonic likes to take a lot of naps in strange places. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game, or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now, if I ever need a snack, you've got me. <laughs> That's true. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because... Well, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy I worked with... Uh, the last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the doc evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. <laughs> this is true. Ye varmints. Hey, Knuckles. What are you doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. <laughs> I appreciate it. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moseyed through and told me all about it. <sighs> Enough of that. I wonder how long you kept that voice up for Amy. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He is obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Tabby, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were apart. I mean, obviously he played the game and then smashed it because he got mad because he failed at the game. <laughs> at least that's my opinion, based on the situation at hand. Let's investigate for clues and then interrogate. Right, let's do it. He's even standing by the machine, sir. That's really obvious. <laughs> Peanuts? 
Ah, bowl of assorted nuts, a classic saloon snack. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Hmm, kind of bland. Seems like someone licked all the soft off of them. <laughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> you can't say that they're poor tails. Drinks? Abby, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few cup used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty. He was having drinks with Rouge. Look at the lipstick. He was definitely having drinks with... She's the only one with lipstick, right? I don't think Amy has it. And I don't think Blaze has it either. Uh, Knuckles is really thirsty? Tabby, this one has lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone must have been here. We should log this. Used cups are added to your inventory. Maybe he's huffy because him and Rouge got another tiff. That could be. Yeah, that machine's fine. The robotic arms here are really helpful. What is the arm doing to my chair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh oh. I should I fear my job for my job a little bit? How well can I microwave? <laughs> I think we're here for the human element. Well, not human, because no one's here as human. But, you know. Something always hidden in trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one's empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory of there always being something being hidden in trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. As they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs> I think Tails is ignoring me. <laughs> Alright. Clearly, we won't be able to give the name Super Monkey Ball, the game Super Monkey Ball, a try. Do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look more to be caused from punches. Who could have done that? <laughs> Tails! <laughs> He's sweating! Hmm. What are you two looking at me for? A smashed arcade is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles and find out what really happened. Yes. I thought I told you two to leave me alone. Please don't beat me up. I like your hat. <laughs> ah! We got him to blush! Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. Doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave! <laughs> Can I take your order? Maybe he'll be a little happier if we get some food for him. Hmm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, let me know, won't you? Sure. I like, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Tabby, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it. <laughs> I said the same thing he did. All right. Well, as much as I would like to interrogate Knuckles and... Oh, we can look out the window. We'll do that later. <clears throat> we are nearing the end of our stream, unfortunately. But we will definitely pick this up again... Not this, not, not next week, but the week after. So the 28th, we'll be back here Friday the 28th to continue to search and see who killed Sonic the Hedgehog. There are many suspects. So we'll have to find out. Yes. Thank you guys for uh, sticking around and hanging out with me. We'll, uh, we'll do more again on the 28th. Yes, 28th. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can save first. Oh, good. We can. Let's do that real quick. Haha. -ha. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well, I hope you cats and kittens have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye